What's going on, everybody? My name's Darby Weiss. This is the Iron Emporium. Roll the intro. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Darby Weiss, and of course, this is the Iron Emporium. I am I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm happy to do this, and I, I'm happy that, honestly, I'm happy it's Sunday, so I get to record again. So anyway, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I do I do have to give a huge shout-out to my awesome Patreons, first and foremost, Mike Guerin, Josh Walbro, Julian Siller, Cody, Nick Johnson, Mackenzie Duar. I appreciate every single one of you. I can't ever say that enough. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting this show. If you'd like to get your name on that list, you can swing over to patreon.com forward slash iron emporium. I'll have it linked in the description down below and you can definitely get a, you know, sign up there and get, get, get some exclusive content for you guys, but as well, just help support me in this show. So thank you guys so much for doing that. Um, couple notes before we get started. Okay. Um, the, the Patreon page is evolving slowly, but surely. The videos are evolving slowly but surely. We're going to get better at this, I promise. If anybody out there has a webcam or camera setup that they would be willing to part with that's halfway decent quality, I would absolutely love to get my hands on it. Let me know how much you want for it. Let me know what you've got because I I want to make these videos a little bit better. I'm going to start rearranging probably, honestly, even maybe today, depending on how the day goes. Um rearranging my my little area over here so the show will look better all right anyway enough with that let's jump right in the show because today's show is is one of those that i have looked forward to doing for a while and it's one of those that i that it's one of those topics that gets me you know it gets me heated it gets me it's me fired up because honestly it, it is in my opinion motivation at the very core of what of what motivation is and what it, you know, it, it, so often we spend so much time talking about, you know, the things we can do and change and improve. We stop talking about, we stop focusing on things that already are right. So anyway, let's just jump right into it. I mean, I've got, I could go on for hours about this. So, you know, enough, enough precursor, enough context. Let's get right into it. All right. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about who we are, right? Our legacy, our destinies, things like that. Things that that we talk about a lot, but we kind of just put it off to the side, right? And and I'm not one of those that, you know, believes in, you know, predetermined destiny or any anything crazy like that. No, not at all. What I when I say destiny, I mean like you've put your mind to it. It's what you plan on accomplishing, right? So I w- I want to start this off with a quote. It's David Goggins. Of course it's David Goggins. Why wouldn't it be David Goggins? All right. Again, if you've never, if you've never heard of David Goggins, go look him up. He's, he's absolutely fantastic. And so I'll, I'll, I'll I'll give you his quote real quick. All right. Stop telling yourself that you're doing enough in life. There is never enough. I could end the show right there. I could end it right there and we could all walk away knowing that you never give up. You never stop. Right? So I want to, I want to expound on that a little bit. I want to expand that a little bit. Stop telling yourself that you're doing enough in life. There is never enough. When you're tired, get back up. When you are broken, get back up. When you are beaten, get back up because failure is the stepping stone to success. Failure is just the stepping stone to success. Right? So, and here's something that I don't know if I've ever ever touched on before, but I think it's important, right? Failure is not the same as a setback. Failure failure does not equal setback. They're, They're two separate entities, right? Failures are something that you can learn from, that you can take something away from, that you can that you can move forward from with a new piece of knowledge, with some new will. 
setbacks. I, I, I don't believe setbacks should be should even be in anybody's vocabulary. You don't have setbacks. You have speed bumps. Speed bumps are fine. Speed bumps just slow you down on that forward progress. A speed bump is not something you're gonna learn anything from. Right? It's you're not gonna you're not gonna learn to, to do this or do that or anything like that. No. A speed bump is nothing more than something to slow you down. Setbacks are nothing more than something to slow you down. So, I got asked this question the other day, and I've been asked this question probably a thousand times, right? And I've probably been asked this question more since I got out of the Marine Corps. Because in the Marine Corps, you're expected to wake up early and go to PT and blah, 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 blah. You know, all that all that bullshit, you know, that, that we all do anyway. But people ask me, and I've been asked a lot, why do I wake up so early? I wake up every morning. It doesn't matter if I'm going to the gym or not. It doesn't matter if I have something to do or not. I wake up. There are very few days that I don't get up when my alarm goes off. There are very few days that I am not already awake by the time my alarm goes off. I give myself those you know, five, six, seven extra minutes in the mornings to kind of just lay sometimes because that's fine you can do that but when my alarm goes off I get up and people ask me why when my alarm goes off at 420 in the morning 415 in the morning why do I get up so yo dude why are you getting up so early in the morning you don't have anything to do we don't like when I go to work we don't open the store till nine o'clock or you don't have to be there till really you know 830 it doesn't matter I'm up four hours before then. And for years, for years, my response has been, it's just what I've always done, right? I don't know. That's just what I've always done. I always get up early. That's no longer my response. Now, instead of giving, you know, giving these people uh, a, you know, giving them an answer, you know, just a, I don't know, that's what I've always done kind of answer. I started asking them, you know, this question, why do you wake up so late? Why do you get up so late? I have things, right, for me, I have things that I need to accomplish. I have a purpose. I have drive. I am driven every day to accomplish something. What do you have? My thought, and this is just me personally, and maybe this is, you know, an attack on you. That's fine. It can be whatever. I don't really care. But my thought is this. If you're waking up late every day, every day you wake up late, you wake up like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11, maybe you're one of those people that sleeps till fucking noon, it's because you have no purpose, you have no reason, you have nothing in your life that you want to accomplish, no purpose. Because when you have purpose, when you have reason, you don't want to sleep. Sleep then becomes nothing more than a necessity for living, for continuing to exist every day. We have to sleep. It's not, oh, I get to sleep. Now it's, I have to sleep. I don't need to dream because every day I wake up and every day I live my dreams to their fullest potential. What is your dream and why? This is my question now. My question is, what is your dream? And why are you not living it every single day instead of sleeping? Why do you need to sleep to dream when you can wake up and just live that life that you dream about? Millionaires, billionaires are not made in their sleep. They are made while they are out there grinding every single day. You can't grind in your sleep. I'm sorry. It just doesn't work. Sure. You can have money being made while you sleep. I mean, we we grow we don't grow muscle at the gym. We grow while we rest, while we sleep. That's good. Those are necessities. Those are necessities in our lives. And I expect that. And I encourage that. I encourage rest. But if you are sleeping till 9, 10, 11, noon every day, 
you need to redefine what your purpose is. Right? So when we're born, right? When we're born, they put a date on one side of our tombstone, right? And then when you die, they have another date on the other side. But in between those two dates, there's a dash, there's a line. That line is your legacy. Make that dash the most significant mark on that rock. That dash is your life, is your struggles, is your failure, is your legacy. Make it great. Make it worth the effort that it took to put that dash in there. So many people, and this is just my thought, right? So many people don't go out and accomplish or even start trying to accomplish their dreams because they are so afraid to stand apart from everybody else, right? And I feel like, especially like my generation, right? I feel like so often it's this herd mentality, right? We all move around all together, all as one big cluster of bullshit. And we're so afraid to stand apart, to stand over here, to be our own person, to be individual, that we're just not going to try anything that would be different that would make us different. You are your own pen. You control your own pen. In your hand is your pen. Start writing your own goddamn destiny and stop waiting on it for it to be written for you. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Just just quit. I tell you all the time, don't quit at anything, right? Don't give up. I just said it, right? But if you just quit all the, if you just quit all this waiting around on other people to give you that, that purpose, that destiny, that legacy, and instead of waiting on everyone else, you do it for yourself. Make that dash count. Two dates one dash, one legacy. You get one chance. Every day, right? Every day, we have opportunities to do one of two things. You don't get the opportunity again. You only get it once. You get one opportunity to do one of two things. Option A, sit and continue to live your mediocre, wasteful, useless, boring, pathetic, fucked up life. Option B, the second option, change your fucking circumstances and start accomplishing something. That is your choice. That is not anyone else's choice that's not anybody else's choice it is yours you have the pen in your hand write your destiny down and i mean that quite literally right go go find a pen take that pen find a piece of paper write down your dreams Fill in your dreams. That way it's tangible. That way you have something to work towards. That way you have a purpose, a reason to wake up every single day at fucking four o'clock in the morning and go out there and attack your day. Instead of waiting around, instead of bullshitting yourself, instead of just being there because you are still breathing. I'm so sick and tired of people around me and people that just never get anything out of life because they're afraid to stand apart from their peers. They're afraid to stand apart from anybody else in their world. So they're fine with just being mediocre like everyone else in the world. Are you mediocre? I don't think so. 
because here's the reality of it. Every single person out there is great. Everybody has greatness in them. It's whether or not they're willing to reach out and take it. This book right here. Pages upon pages upon pages. It goes on and on and on. This I have like four or five of those. That's my workout book. I fill it out every single day. Days when I take days off, I fill it out then. Because guess what that does? Every single date on there. Every single date. There's not one page in this book so far that's missed. Every day. Even the days that I take a day off from the gym, I record in that book. Even if it says nothing more on that page other than the date at the top, rest day. Sometimes I'll even give a reason why I had a rest day. Like, could barely get out of bed this morning. Legs hurt too bad. It doesn't matter. Then days like yesterday. The page is full. All the way. Bottom to top. Margins filled in. I can go back a little further. I've had some days in there where I have a page and a half. Two pages. Because some days are better than others. Some days are longer than others. But it doesn't matter. It gets filled in every single day day because every single day I have a purpose I have a reason I have a want a need a desire to accomplish a dream if you are not accomplishing a dream if you don't have a dream then here's what you need to do you need to take a good long hard look in the mirror and ask yourself What is my purpose? What do I want for me? Maybe you want to be a movie star. Maybe you want to be a huge, big name, A-list Hollywood actor or actress. Do it. Fine. Get out there. Get after it. What are you sitting around waiting for? Are you waiting for somebody else to sign your name? Nobody else is going to sign your name. Nobody else apart from you. You have a pen in your hand. Start writing down your legacy. Start writing down your dreams. Start writing down the steps, the little baby steps that it will take to accomplish those dreams. That it will take to accomplish greatness that it will take to fill in that dash on that fucking rock. There are two dates, one dash, one life is what that equals. When you're beaten, get back up. When you are broken, get back up. When you are tired, get back up. Stop giving in to the weakness that you have allowed to encompass your existence because you are afraid to stand apart from all the other people. You are not a fucking cow who moves in a goddamn herd. You are a wolf. You hunt. You are a lion. You hunt. You seek out others who are like you. Stop moving with the crowd. I, and, and the root of the show. Are you a victim or a victor? Are you going to become a victim 
of your circumstances, of your weak will, of your weak mind, of your weak body, or are you going to become a victor and go out there and accomplish no matter the circumstances, no matter your body type, no matter your your mental state, because you know you can overcome. It's all about overcoming those weak moments, those moments when you feel like, man, I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to be like everybody else and just sit here weak and tired and pathetic. We don't do this. You don't do this. We don't have time for this. We are here to succeed. We are here, honestly, to struggle. Because every day we're working towards our legacy. Every day we are hunting down our prey. And that prey is our dreams. That prey is what we desire most of all. What do you desire? What are you going after? What are you trying to accomplish? Or are you not trying to accomplish anything? Have you no purpose? That's the question from me to you. That's the question of the day. Why are you waking up so late? When people ask me, why do I wake up so early? I no longer give them. That's just what I've always done response. Now I don't give them an answer. I ask them why they wake up so late. To me, it's normal. What you're doing is abnormal. It's normal to wake up early. It's normal to attack the day. It's normal to want to succeed. Why are you waking up so late? That's what's abnormal. What's weird about that is the fact that you want to wake up so late. They don't understand it. Why would you want to waste half your day? I've done more in the first six hours of my day than most people will accomplish through their entire day. And that's not me bragging about, oh, I wake up early, I'm better than you. No. It's the reality of the fact. I've already been to the gym. I've already eaten breakfast. I've already stretched. I've already showered. I've already, well, I don't shave anymore because I don't have to. And most of the time, I've already recorded my podcast or a video. And now I'm relaxing because I've accomplished pretty much everything I need to in my day. Now I'll just have to go to work or work around the house or do whatever other little things it is that I have for that day because I've already accomplished the steps to my dreams, to my legacy. If you can't tell, this is one of those subjects that really gets me heated. I'm going to kind of cut it off right there. All right. Let me wrap this up. Stop telling yourself you're doing enough because you're never doing enough. When you are tired, get back up. When you are broken, get back up. When you are beaten, get back up. Because failure is nothing more than the stepping stone to success. Why are you waking up so late every day? I have things I need to accomplish. I have a purpose. What do you have? Do you have purpose? Do you have things you need to accomplish? Are you living your dreams or are you merely sleeping and hoping that they come to life? And remember, there are two dates on your tombstone. One when you're born and one when you die. In between those two dates, there's a dash. That dash is the most significant mark on that rock because that dash represents your legacy. And the reason they don't fill it in is because you did more than they could ever write because your legacy is too great to ever explain. Make sure your legacy is great. Make sure that dash truly represents your legacy. 
don't just meander through life. Don't just exist. Thrive. So many people talk about, you know, I'm just trying to survive day to day. Fuck no. Stop surviving and start thriving. Go out and accomplish. Don't be afraid to stand apart. And remember, you are your own pen. Start writing your own destiny and stop waiting on it for it to be written for you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate every single one of you. I I truly do. I couldn't do this without you guys. It means the world to me that people are willing to pay money to support this show. I hope that this this motivates you guys to get out there and, and attack your, your next week or maybe even today. Hopefully something will change in your life if you're in a bad place and it will lift you up. That's all I want to do. I want to encourage. So don't be discouraged when things seem bleak. All right. Thank you guys so much. If you're interested in supporting this show, you can do that over on patreon.com. If you are interested in just subscribing over on YouTube, hey, swing over to YouTube, hit that little red subscribe button hit the little bell next to it because then it'll like give you notifications when i upload videos i know i have not been uploading some some of my in the car videos like i usually do i usually do one or two of those a week i haven't been doing any that's because i'm in the new truck and it, i'm working out a mounting situation because it's a lot smaller cab than than the car was so working with that trying to trying to get that hammered out so you guys can actually get some decent video um anyway i think that's all i've got for you guys today thank you guys so much i appreciate every single one of you if you want to support the show also you can go over to the teespring store and get some dope merch for the show i've got some new stuff coming there's some new ish stuff on there already definitely go check that stuff out thank you guys so much have a great rest of your day remember stay hungry and stay foolish my friends